So on our 1958 John Deere diesel, we've got a sediment bowl that's leaking a little bit and it's dripping down here. So what happens over time with these is this is kind of an aluminum uh, housing there. The sediment bowl has been on there a long time. So every time that you pull the bowl off, clean it out, retighten it, after several years of over tightening, these pins right here can pull down on this and almost warp this aluminum here. So the gasket's been replaced in here. It still drips. It doesn't drip a lot, but we want to get it fixed. So we're going to pull that sediment bowl off and replace it today. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut the fuel off. I siphoned as much of the diesel tank as I could, but I'm guessing there's still a couple gallons in there, so I've got to make sure that we don't spill that everywhere. So fuel is shut off. Now we're going to take the sediment bowl off. If it'll come off. It's going to start dripping fuel. Should slide out here shortly, I think. There we go. Okay, so pull that out. And then we can pull these off to the side, and that comes right out. Now that the sediment bowl is off, what I want to do is I want to turn the fuel back on and any remaining fuel in the tank will hopefully drain through there. Um, I want to get it out of there before I pull the uh, aluminum piece off there. So I don't have a real good setup here, but I've got a flexible funnel and we'll see what happens. All right, so fuel starting to drain out. And I'm just going to let that run until it stops. So now we've got the tank drained out. So what we need to do is we need to remove the fuel line here. So we're going to remove this uh, big nut here and that's going to slide off. Okay, now that fuel line is loose. Next step, we gotta unscrew the assembly. Screw this in to get it out of the way of the fuel line that I keep hitting. And that is our assembly here. You can see it's a little rusted and pitted here, but 
We'll clean this uh, out a little bit and we'll get the new one in. So we're going out with the old and in with the new. This is our new um, sediment bowl assembly here. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take this um, piece out of this old one and stick it in here so it fits on the uh, fuel line. But uh, I picked up this sediment bowl um, online from New Paris Tractor Parts in Indiana. Um, I've used them several times for different uh, two-cylinder parts and they've been phenomenal. So let's get the new assembly on. So now we'll screw the new assembly in. And as you can see, I took the old pipe fitting off the other sediment bowl, pulled it on here so we can get the fuel line attached. Okay, and that is snug on there. And now we'll connect the fuel line that lines right up once it's snug. This nut tightened on. snug and then we'll get the bowl assembly on Definitely don't want to over tighten this, you just want it snug and if it's leaking a little bit you can tighten it a little further but over tightening it is what caused the problem as to why we're replacing it is because it'll bend this aluminum. Alright so that's snug on there, if it leaks we'll tighten it up a little bit more but that should be good. Now, next step is to make sure that the fuel is off here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put fuel back in the tank and I'm gonna see if it leaks at this uh, fitting here. If it doesn't leak at the fitting here, we'll open this up, we'll allow that to fill. And then once that's full, if there's no leaks, we'll bleed the fuel system. Okay, I only put a few gallons in, maybe two to three. Um, I don't see any leaks at this fitting here, so we're gonna turn the fuel on. All right, what I'm guessing is happening here is I need to bleed the fuel system and get some of that air out of there to allow some airflow. So we'll tackle that next. So to bleed out the fuel system, we're gonna come on the flywheel side and up under your air cleaner is gonna be your uh, fuel filters. You got your first stage and second stage. So the first plug that we're gonna pull is in your first stage here. We're gonna pull the plug out and we should see a steady stream of fuel uh, coming out. Okay, let's pour it out. Tighten 
then back up. And as soon as I did that, you can see that the sediment bowl filled up. So we're gonna continue on, just making sure that we've got all the air out of the lines. Next step is gonna be pulling the one on the second stage. All right, we'll pull second stage plug. Make sure that does the same, steady stream of fuel, with no air bubbles. And I can already tell that's happening. Tighten that back up. And our third and final bleed plug, again, we're still on the flywheel side, is going to be right here. And again, we'll do the same thing. We'll pull it out as long as there's a steady stream of fuel, which there should be immediately. A little bit of air bubble out of there. And it's dripping out good there. So I think we got all the air out. We'll tighten that back up. Now that the fuel system's uh, bled out, and like I said, as soon as I removed that first bleed plug, the sediment bowl filled instantly. Um, I don't see any leaks at all, so next step is to fire it up and get the fuel system working. mistake. Um, the reason why she wouldn't uh, run real good the first time is because I didn't bleed it long enough. So after it ran for a little bit and it would die and it wouldn't uh, fire again, I removed the first stage plug and it was probably five to six seconds of no fuel running out. So there was a pretty good air pocket in there that needed to come out before it was going to fire. So I blood the entire system again and then she popped right off. And I ran it for a little bit and there are no leaks, so success.